Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 172 in the series of basic math, and today we'll so. Uh, Today we'll just begin a series, a series of seven videos, series of seven videos on the topic of unit digit. Once in a while we encounter problems for it doesn't matter which exam you're preparing for ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT or GRE, where they ask you to identify the unit digit of certain quantity. So we're gonna do seven problems, some seven, seven very typical problems that appear on this exam. Here's the first one. The question says, which of the following, which of the following cannot, which of the following cannot be the unit digit of 43 raised to n. Here are the answer choices A, B, C, D, E, and the answer choices are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Quite straightforward deal. 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Out of these five answer choices, the question is which of the following cannot be the unit digit of a 43 raised to some power, which means that four of these are possible. Our job is to identify that cannot be. One can one that cannot be. What I would like to do right now, as always, and if I forget to do, uh, remind you, you must do this on your own. You must you should do it on your own. Pause the video, do the problem, and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay, do it yourself first. Well, let's see what we have. 43, 43 raised to n. Well, 43 raised to 1 is simply 43. 43 ends in a 3. So that means 43 raised to 1 can have a unit digit of 3. Question is which of the following cannot be the unit digit of 43 raised to some power? N, N is positive. N is positive. I forgot to mention that. N is positive. We, uh, the negative exponents are ruled out. So, 3 is possible. It is possible for the unit digit of a number to be 3 if the power happens to be 1. 3 is possible. Let's do, let's do Let's do 43 raised to 2. 43 raised to 2 is simply 43 times 43. 43 times 43, we don't have to waste our time doing the whole thing ours. We're not, we're not really interested in what 43 times 43 is. We are only interested in knowing what the unit digit of 43 to the second power is. 43 raised to the second power will have a unit digit of 3 times 3, 9. So it is possible for 43 raised to not, not that it is possible, that is the fact. 43 raised to 2 ends in 9. Ends in 9. Ends in 9. 43 raised to 2 ends in 9. Let's continue. I'm going to pick up speed now. If we multiply by 43 one more time, what we'll end up is 43 cube. And what do you suppose 43 cube is going to end in? 43 cube, whatever this quantity is, it's going to be this quantity, whatever that is, which we didn't write down, we only wrote down the unit digit, but then again, it, this quantity, 43 times 43 ends in a 9, if you multiply that quantity, whatever that quantity is, whatever that quantity is, times 43, that should end in a 9 times 3, 9 times 3, 9 3 is a 27, it will end in a 7, so it is possible for it to end in a 7. Let's continue, so you take the 43 cube, whatever this quantity is, and multiply by 43 one more time, and you end up with 43 raised to 4. And 43 raised to 4, whatever it is, has to end in a 7 times 3, which is 21. It will end in a, it, it will end in a 1. And what do you suppose will happen after 1? Do you know what's going to happen after 1? Once you hit once you hit 1, then you should realize that if you were to multiply this quantity by 43 one more time, you will end up with a 3. You will repeat the series. The repeat the series will repeat. The series is, let me put it in a different color. The series is this. The series is 3, 9, 7, 1, and it will keep repeating it, it will keep repeating, 3, 9, 7, 1, 3, 9, 7, 1, 3, 9, 7, 1, 3, 9, 7, 1, it will just keep repeating for each exponent that we go further. But the point is, as you can see, 43 raised to any power, as long as the power is a positive value, 43 raised to n, will end, can end in a 3, 9, 7, or 1, 
but it cannot end in a 5. It cannot end in a 5. The question was, which of the following cannot be the unit digit of 43 raised to n? The answer is, 43 raised to n cannot end in a 5. 43 raised to n cannot have a unit digit of 5. Do you understand? I'll get out of your way now for a second, and then we'll do one more. Let's do one more. This time we have a slightly different question. The question is what is the unit digit of of forty three raised to thirty three? What's the unit digit of forty three? raised to 33. Same answer choices as before. The answer choices have not changed. A, B, C, D. 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. These are the five answer choices, same as before. Again, I will give you five seconds. I want you to pause the video. Do this problem yourself. Once you have the answer, then compare your work. Do you understand? I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and then pause the video. There we go. Question is, what is the unit digit? We have to identify the unit digit of 43 raised to 33. Well, here we go. Most of the work, if we had done this problem by itself to start out with, we would have had we would have had to do all of this work again. Oh, well, not again, but we would have we would have, we would have had to do all of this work to begin with. Since we did the previous question, most of the work is already done. We already know. That 43, we already know that 43 raised to 1, 43 raised to 1 ends in a 3, 43 raised to 2 ends in a 9, 43 raised to 3 will end in a 7, 43 raised to 4 will end in a 1, and after that the series will return. Because 43 raised to 5, 43 raised to 5 will end in a 3. And once it ends in a 3, then 3 times 3 is going to be 9, and 9 times 3 is going to be 27, and so on and so forth. The series will repeat. The series is made up of 3, 9, 7, 1. 3971 four beads in it if you like. It is this this string is made up of four unique quantities. One, two, three, four. What does it tell us? It tells us, I'm gonna raise this thing because we need the room. I'm gonna raise all of this now. What this tells us is that listen very carefully. What this tells us is that 43 43 raised to four will end in one, two, three, four. It will end in one. Forty-three raised to eight. Forty-three raised to eight will bring it to the end of the second cycle. It will also end in a one. Forty-three raised to twelve. Forty-three raised to twelve will also bring us to the end of the third cycle. This is the second cycle, third cycle, and so on and so forth. If we had, if, if we had instead of thirty-three, instead of thirty-three, if we had thirty-two, thirty-two. Is evenly divisible by four. We will have we, we we would have had we would have had eight complete cycles. Eight complete cycles. If we had if we had forty three raised to thirty two, we do not have forty three raised to thirty two. We have forty three raised to thirty three. Well, it's very simple. We will have eight complete cycle, and then we have one more to go. So if you have one more to go, it's going to be the very first one in the next series. It's three, three, nine, seven, one is the cycle. Three, nine, seven, one. Three, nine, seven, one. This is this is the this is the forty-three raised to thirty-two. Forty-three raised to thirty-two. This is what forty-three raised to thirty-two will end in a one because it's the end of the eighth cycle. Forty-three raised to thirty-three. Forty-three raised to thirty-three should end in a three. 43 raised to 33 will end in a 3. 43 raised to 33 
full end in a three. Voila, there we go. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.